So apparently there's an event in Honkai Style which is called Hanus Peace and Break and this event gives you a one free 4 star character and there are 4 of them 2 Nihility and 2 Harmony so, they, so these characters are Gwenaifen and then Sampo Asta and Yugo These are the characters you can get from the event and we're, I'm going to give you insights of which characters you need to prioritize on uh, about getting them. Uh, we're going to discuss Gwynifen first. Gwynifen is such a top nihility unit. You can build her on a DPS one or you can go for the DOT. Uh, and I usually use her for the DOT uh, because I always play Kafka and I partner her with Kafka. Gwynifen has one of the best Eidolons and traits. Her talent, Farkis, increases the damage received by the enemy for 3 turns and can stock up up to 3 times. And not to mention, this Farkis is unremovable. I will show you later. This debuff is such a good thing. And, and our idolons are so good. All of her idolons are musket, which is basically, you know, increases her damage and also her effectivity in the DOTT. First, her E1 reduces the effect rest of the enemy for two turns. Increases the, uh, on her C E2, increases her damage multiplier for her burn. Her E4, it gives her more energy recharge, which allows you to spam her ult. Her ult detonates her burns and also gives stacks of parkies. Her E6 increases her fire key stock. So instead of it stocks for 3 times, it stocks for 4 times. Which is actually good. This is actually good. All of her islands are so good that I recommend you getting her. So if you don't have Gwyn Iphen, go for her. If you need her islands, go for her. So yeah. This she is the top priority. Especially if you're going to DOT teams. But if if you're not going for DOT teams, you can build a DPS just fine so yeah Gwynifen is a top choice among these four your second choice or second priority is Sampo Sampo is usually partnered with Kafka because that's what make makes Sampo effective because he gives wind shear her base I mean his basic attack his skills gives wind shear so he's so good with Kafka and I always use him before I get Black Swan but here's the thing if you have already blocks one, you don't have to go for Sampo. You can go back to Gwynifen. If you don't have Gwynifen or you want her idol. Sampo is not a top priority because basically blocks one replaces him completely. But if you're not going to pull for blocks one so and you do, you don't have Sampo or you want to get his idol ones, go for Sampo. He's such a good he's also a good unit nihility unit. So yeah, these two are are so good. Next is Asta. Asta is a good harmony, but I don't recommend you getting because um, her items are basically they're good, but not the game breaking. But still, it also helps her. That it also helps helps her prevent losing stocks for her buffs, and also allows her to spam her ult more. And her ult gives speed, which allow you, allows you to speed tune. And sometimes you need to speed tune your characters, and Asta can solve that. She's such a she's uh, she's such a good unit. If you're going for for her, uh, she's a third priority. She's still a good unit. Her items are not that must get, but still she's still a good unit. So if you're not going for DOT teams, if uh, you're not interested in making DOT teams and you, or you don't have Kafka, you can go for Asta. You can go for her idols or if you don't have her, go for Asta. She's such a good unit. Next is Yukong. Yukong is kind of tricky uh, because she's clunky, but her E6 fixes her clunkiness. It, it remedies her shorthand feature and and it's which is uh, um she's a high investment unit high investment support 
I don't recommend getting her uh, because she's not that used that much. Unless if you have Dan Heng in Bibitor Lune. She is so good with Dan Heng in Bibitor Lune because she buffs imaginary damage and also increases crit, crit rate and crit damage. And she's such a good deal. If you're going, if you're using Dan Heng, if you are maining Dan Heng in Bibitor Lune, you can go for Yuko. Oh, Yuko. So. These two are less priority because um, because of the fact that Asta is an early unit. You might have, you might have already her idol and smacks if you're pulling it now, or you know Yukong also is an early unit. Early unit. Also, you you can get Yukong on MOC, MOC or Forgotten Hole. So yeah, Asta and Yukong are not must have. Or must get because you can you can get her for free on Forgotten Hall unless you you are one you are one less away from her E6. Uh, also the same with Asta, she's already she's already the first free un, free unit you can have. She's the first character you can get from the Gacha. So these two are not must have at all. So your two priorities is Gwenaifen and Sampo. So here it is. So, so either of these two, you can go for it. So that's all for today. Thank you.